to the OECD for inviting me to participate in the roundtable of the use of market studies as a tool to tackle competition issues. Among the powers granted to COFESE, there are two tools which involve in-depth market analysis. One is market studies in a traditional sense, which we use as an advocacy tool by which we assess the degree of competition in a market, and when competition problems are identified, we provide non-binding recommendations to address them. The other are market investigations. Those are an enforcement tool that is presently found only in a limited number of jurisdictions, which allows us to intervene with structural and behavioral remedies when barriers to competition are identified or to determine the existence of essential facilities and if necessary, regulate their access. In this video, I will comment on the scope of both and will emphasize the potential of market investigations as a tool to address emerging competition issues in digital markets. Market studies are a flexible advocacy tool used when a thorough analysis of a market from a company competition perspective is needed. These are carried out when you know that a market is not working, but you also know that it is not necessary or solely the consequence of a conduct or an action led by a firm. So you need to understand how that market works before deciding any enforcement action. These studies provide thorough understanding of a market dynamics, which may be useful both to the competition authority itself, as well as to other stakeholders. Regarding competition authorities, the knowledge acquired in a market study is disseminated among the different units, which may use it to strengthen their analysis that may accompany future competition enforcement actions, such as an investigation for an anti-competitive conduct or a merger review, or in an advocacy initiative such as a non-binding opinion. In our case, several enforcement actions have been promoted after a market study has been made. This, we have examples of this in the financial and the energy sector, to name a few. Regarding other stakeholders, market studies can be also a useful resource for policymakers interested in a better understanding of the market they regulate to recognize competition concerns and solutions to address them if they decide to adopt our recommendations. For example, regarding our recommendations for the study of expired patent drugs in Mexico, this year the industry property law was reformed to reduce the time of entry into the market of generic drugs once patents expire. Also, several recommendations from our financial sector study, which was the first one we made in 2015, has been adopted. Despite these advantages, market studies do have some limitations. One, since they provide in-depth and broad knowledge of markets, the competition issues found can be very numerous and very diverse. So the likelihood of all the recommendations that derive from them of being implemented in the short time is low. Also, since these recommendations are non-binding, these may or may not be considered by relevant stakeholders. Their possible ad adoption may require extensive advocacy and outreach efforts and the investment of resources that for many authorities could be difficult to afford. You need to have patience. Against these limitations, COFESE has another tool that analyzes markets in depth and allows us to impose measures beyond non-binding recommendations when competition problems are identified. I am referring to our market investigations, which I will explain in the next section. Our market investigations are established in Article 94 of the Competition Law, which empowers us to analyze the structural, behavioral, and regulatory characteristics of markets and allows us to impose remedies aimed at favoring competition. More specifically, 
These investigations enables us to determine the existence of barriers to competition and establish structural and behavioral remedies if needed, and also to determine the existence of essential facilities and regulate their access. Therefore, this is a hybrid competition and regulatory tool with the advantage that it allows us to conduct a thorough market assessment, like a market study, but at the same time, it allows us to impose appropriate remedies when we identify competition problems stemming from the market structure and other characteristics that are not directly related to traditional anti-competitive conducts like abuse of dominance. It is important to mention that because this is an enforcement proceeding with binding consequences, the structural, behavioral, or regulatory remedies that are imposed could be subject of a judicial review through appeals filed before our specialized courts. Thus far, we have opened seven market investigations and diverse markets in Mexico, like the airline slot allocation one in the Mexico City Airport, and one which is currently ongoing in the card payments systems market. With this tool, we have been able to bring to light elements which hinder competition that are usually unnoticed in the investigation of anti-competitive practices, such as behavioral biases, practices which affect competition but are not included in our catalog of abuse of dominance practices or essential facilities in the hands of one of the market players. Therefore, our experience with this tool makes us believe that it can give us the opportunity to produce innovative solutions to address the complex competition problems that the digital market has created, such as tipped markets resulting from network effects and economies of scale and scope, accumulation of big data, self-preferencing and price algorithms to mention some. Precisely, this characteristic has made the international community turn in the direction of our law as a reference in search for a tool that allows for interventions in the digital markets, different from traditional abuse of dominance and cartel enforcement. As you all know, there is a currently an intense global debate within the antitrust community about market analysis tools, such as the discussion around the new competition tool of the European Commission that may well end up looking the same as our Article 94 market investigation process. Of course, at COFESE, we are assessing how to make the best use of this Article 94 in digital markets. Thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to our discussion in the next roundtable.